Hi everyone and welcome to a very special edition of Game Face. We're going to call this episode zero because Marcus, as you can see, is not here with me today. And that's because after over a year plus of work behind the scenes, I am finally ready to unveil Sifted Games to you guys. Uh, and just a heads up, um, Game Face will be live again tomorrow, Thursday at 6 p.m. right here at the same URL. So Marcus will be back in studio and we'll have another show for you guys. But for today, we have a very, very special episode. And so some of you guys may have figured out what Sifted is, or at least maybe had an idea just upon, based upon the name. But it's been kind of funny, you know? A lot of people have asked me, what is it, what is it? I've really kept it under wraps. There's probably 20 people in the world that really knows what Sifted does right now. And even those people, when I told them, they were still like, I have no idea. Well, the truth is, is that the name was a really big hint. It's, the site's called Sifted, and that's exactly what it does. But first, I want to give you a little bit of background. So as some of you may know, I left game trailers a couple years ago. I started figuring out, what do I want to do next? Well, I knew I wanted to start my own site, but things were really changing in the space. Um, it was really hard to survive on ad revenue. I'm sure you guys have seen how a lot of sites have either closed or they've had to cut back their staff because ad revenue isn't getting it done. And so, you know, I also wanted to find a place that, or build a place that could be a great tool for people like me. And when I say people like me, I'm talking about people who have a lot of responsibility in their lives. Maybe they have kids, maybe they have a wife, uh, maybe they're working three jobs. Um, you know, I was really busy and it was hard for me to find time to engage with games as much as I wanted to anymore. And I feel like there's a lot of people out there that are like that. And so I set off to build a site for people like that. And that site is Sifted. And what Sifted is, is it's a content curation service. So what we do is we go out and we find all the awesome content. And then you tell us what you want to see and then we throw all that information into an algorithm and we give you a custom feed of content. And I can sit here and yammer on about it for an hour or actually probably for days, but it's probably best if I just show it to you. So here we go. I'm going to show you a live demo of Sifted for the very first time. All right, so when you first sign up and you choose your username and all that sort of mumbo jumbo, this is the first screen that you come to. This is what we call the SIFT preferences. So basically, you're telling us here what you like and what you care about. So it's very simple. It's just a click interface. You just click on one of these and you tell us. So if you keep it in the middle, you're basically trusting us to deliver your content for you. However, say you don't even own an Xbox. And so you don't care about Microsoft content. Well, then you would put that all the way down. Say you're a big Nintendo fan, you don't have other consoles, you crank Nintendo up, put Sony down. Basically, all the categories work this way. So we have four major categories for your SIF ratings. We have platforms, which you can see there, Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, PC, handheld, mobile, VR, and retro. We have content types, which are features, which is like long form stuff, like deep dives, comparison videos, things like that. Gameplay, which is like let's stream from YouTube, um, gameplay montages, things like that. We have guides, self-explanatory, interviews, lists, opinion, that's like podcasts, talk shows like Game Face and things like that, editorials, previews, reviews, and trailers. Then we go down to the topics. And this is really where I think some of the really fun stuff comes, comes through the site when you start using it. So culture is all the peripheral stuff in games, like uh, movies based on games. Um, how games are affecting our culture outside of the gaming industry, um, and things like that. We have a section for deals. Obviously, deals are a big deal anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, you know, everyone's trying to find where they can get a cut rate on a game, and we collect all that there. Early access, being able to get into betas, alphas, and demos, and things like that. Esports, obviously, a big rising topic in the industry. Finance, just all the dollars and cents from the industry. Indie games, which I think everybody knows at this point, have actually grown bigger than the AAA market. Um, industry stuff, which is where it's kind of the catch-all for all the information that doesn't fit into the other ones. I think a lot of people may call it news. Uh, and then Japan. And then here, now we go to the genres. And genres obviously are a big deal. Not everyone cares about the same genres. So we basically have it set up so there's a top line for every genre. But then for people who really care about more granular genres, you can click and expand it. So 
We have action adventure, obviously, but underneath that we have survival horror, hack and slash, and stealth. And then we have the adventure genre, driving, fighting, free to play, game tool, which is like Minecraft and Little Big Planet. We have a kids section for parents who maybe are looking for games for their kids. MOBA for League of Legends. Motion control, I suspect that one might be one of the lower rated settings on Sifted. Uh, music and rhythm, which is like Guitar Hero and Dance Dance Revolution. Platformers, another category that expands out for side-scrolling platformers and 3D platformers. RPG is our biggest expanded category. So you have turn-based RPG, Japanese RPGs, action RPG, strategy, and MMORPGs. Simulation, and then shooter. Shooter is first-person shooter, side-scrolling shooters, and 3D flight like Star Fox. And then we have sports, another one we guess will probably be rated pretty lowly by most people. And then strategy, which has real-time strategy, tower defense, one of my personal favorites, and 4X. So let's just give these all a quick rating here, and please don't, don't <laughs> look into this in any way. I'm just trying to set them up so you can kind of see how it works. Um, so I'm going to leave the first three all the same. I actually leave the first four all the same. Handheld, I'll drop a little bit. Mobile, I'll drop to the bottom. VR, I'll drop that one notch. And retro gaming, I'll drop that one notch. Go to content types. I love features, so I'm going to crank that up a little bit. Gameplay, I'll keep in the middle. Guides, uh, I am playing Bloodborne right now, but for the sake of this demo, I'm going to lower it. Um, interviews, eh. Drop that down. Lists I'll keep in the middle. Those are like top tens and things like that. Opinion. That's the one I really like. Podcasts, people giving me their take on things. I really love that stuff. I'm going to crank that up a good ways. Uh, previews I'll keep in the middle. Reviews I'll bump it up a notch. Trailers I'll leave in the middle. Topics. And I only know this because I've been using Sifted for a while. I love our culture channel. So I'm going to pop that up to make sure you see some of that. Deals, not really looking for any deals right now. Early access, I'm cool. Esports, eh, I'll drop that all the way down. Finance, I've really found that I love our finance channel, so I'm going to pop that up. India, I'll leave in the middle. Industry, I'll leave in the middle. Japan, I'll leave in the middle. Let's hit the genres. Um, action adventure, I'm a pretty, pretty big fan of action adventure. Love survival horror. Not so much with the hack and slash. Not so much with stealth. Adventure category. Leave it, oh, I'll drop that down one. Driving in the middle, fighting in the middle, free to play, all the way down. Game tool, I'm not a big Minecraft player, I'll put that down one. Kids, I don't have any kids. MOBAs, I play League, but don't care about it much other than that. I'll drop that a notch. Motion control, does that even exist anymore? Music and rhythm, down a notch. Platformers, hmm, I'm kind of tired of side scrolling platformers, I'll put that down, but I love 3D platformers and they're starting to come back. I'm going to bump that up. Puzzle, don't care. RPG, turn-based, old-school RPGs, uh, down one. Japanese RPGs, keep in the middle. Love action RPGs. I'm going to pop that up. Leave the rest of these in the middle. Simulation, not for me. I love first-person shooters. You guys know that. I'll bump that one up one. Side-scrolling shooters, old-school, drop that down one. There aren't a lot of 3D flight games. It's there if you need it, so I'm going to drop that down. I do like sports, so I'm going to leave it in the middle. Um, and then strategy, I'll keep down the middle. So as you select these, they all auto-save. You don't need to submit or anything like that to save them. Every time, right next to the category, you'll see, Hannah, I'll, I'll show you here just so you can see. Every time you select something, there's a little saving icon right there that'll show you that it's saving. So you don't have to worry about saving this. So now that you've set all your preferences, and there's all this stuff up here too that I'll get back to a little later, but I really want to show you what Sifted does first. So once you've set all your preferences, let's go to the home page. So the home page we call My Sift because the home page is different for every single user, unless you guys put the same settings in there. So it's called My Sift. And at any time in this, what we call our channel nav right here, you can click My Sift all the way to the far left, and it'll take you to your Sift that sifts everything in. Now this channel nav here will take you to specific channels on Sifted. And the cool thing about Sifted is every single page is customized to your preferences. So even this channel nav right here is basic. If you remember, I said opinion really high because I love it. Well, guess what the first option is in my channel nav? Opinion. I love features, reviews, cultures. So all these are the ones that I rated really highly. So those are the ones that appear in the channel nav first. Now you can pop the drop down right here on the right. And it drops down, and you have access to all the channels on the site if you want to. But this isn't just a list either. All of these are set up in the same preference that you selected 
and your preference settings is sifted. So the whole frickin' site is basically built dynamically on the fly based upon what you tell us. So let's take a look at the scroll. So all of this content that you're seeing in our scroll is basically filtered into the page based upon your settings. And as you can see, we pull in content from everywhere. All your favorite websites like GameSpot, IGN, Game Trailers, you name it, it's on here. Giant Bomb, all of them. We also do a really good job of coming through YouTube and pulling in really good YouTube stuff. Obviously, that's a big paradigm shift for the industry over the last couple years. YouTube's got huge, and obviously, we're going to support that, and we do. So as you scroll on down through here, you can see you know, what I selected as my big, my big bullet points were opinion and features. So you can see here, these features, the features and the, and the opinion pieces are starting to roll in. Trailers. Now, I had trailers set in the middle. But what you don't realize is every time we pull in a piece of content, we're rating that piece of content on how important we think it is to a general audience. So while I had trailers set in the middle, when we added this piece of content, the Assassin's Creed Chronicles launch, or our debut trailer, we gave it a high rating in, in our back end. So basically what happens is we take all the ratings you give us, and then we take the ratings that we assign to each piece of content, and then that all goes into an algorithm, and it spits out your custom feed for you. So let's take a look at our blog scroll entries, each one of these here. So first of all, if you scroll over them, it'll either say read or watch, depending on whether it's uh, written content or whether it's a video. These little bands of color that you see here in each, blog sc in each uh, scroll entry are color coordinated. So you see right here, features are always green. Trailers are always orange. Previews are always blue. Reviews are always red. Opinions always yellow. So you can always easily scroll down through the, the scroll, and you can easily pick out the content that you're looking for, at least as far as our channels are concerned. Um, so let's pop into one of these pieces of content. Let's, uh, well, since I used to work at GT, let's take a look at GT's preview for Assassin's Creed Chronicles. So the first thing you'll notice here is that you remain in the sifted environment. There is uh, basically a frame that pops up that keeps you in sifted while you're viewing content. So you can play this. Probably going to get an ad here because we do not block our ads. Actually, there isn't an ad. So here's the cool thing. While you're watching this content and you want to comment on it, you click on add comment, and it actually pops up from the bottom. And so you can add a comment while you're actually watching the content. And I'm going to type something in here. I can't wait for this one. And here you can see in our comment tools, they're, they're very extensive. And not only are there sort of buttons here for you to add images and do quotes and things like that, you can also hard code this stuff if you want and really get creative with it if you want to. And all this stuff will carry over into our forums, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So anyway, I'll submit that comment. Pops back down. And you can continue watching. And you can actually go and follow the conversation while you're watching the content, which is really cool. So let's jump back to the blog scroll. And let me find a piece of content where we actually have some conversation going on here. Let's see. Here we go. Just to kind of show you how the comments work. So here you can see how the structure works. And obviously, you can see there's a really funny animated GIF from Key and Peele. And so we support animated GIFs. We support images of varying sizes. We do have a limit, ultimately. Um, but you can see how the, how the uh, comments actually shake down as far as how the hierarchy works and things like that. Uh, there's, there's thumbs up, thumbs down on the comments. And most importantly, there is a reporting tool. And one thing I should mention about Sifted is that the moderation on Sifted is going to be really stringent. This is a site for adults and older, older fans of games. And so you know, I've been pretty frustrated with communities online over the last probably forever, actually. And I'm really trying to create an oasis here for people who want to come and talk intelligently about video games. Um, antagonistic behavior will not be tolerated on Sifted, and you'll get banned quickly. And a big help with that is this self-reporting tool. Now, here's something to keep in mind, too. If you erroneously self-report somebody, that's actually even worse than the original action. So. You know, there are severe penalties for false reporting or trolling people in our comments. 
And uh, we have a whole army of moderators ready to go, ready to uh, sort through all this stuff. Anytime we get a self-report from somebody, it goes into a folder that they check immediately. So the tool's there to make the community great. But if you abuse it, you're going to get booted real quick. So just keep that in mind. So here's another cool thing. So back on the theme of what I was talking about earlier, about how the whole, pay, or the whole site is generated based upon what you tell us, let's go to, uh, let's go to features. So this image on the top here that just popped up for Tomb Raider, when you go to this page, you'll get a completely different image because that image is generated based upon your highest result. So you can see here for me, because of where I set my sifted settings, the very top result is for a piece of content that's tagged to Tomb Raider. So when you go to this page, you're going to get a top image from Tomb Raider. Now, you can see right here, you can set the sift by time as well. So you can set it for the last 24 hours, the last 48 hours, the last week, the last month, or all time. And every time you do that, obviously your sift is going to be different. And so you'll get a different image up here. And you can just pop around to some channels here. You can see there's a little big planet for, for a 3D platformer. Let's go to Action Adventure. Yep, that's for the Order 1886. Let's go to the opinion piece, opinion channel. That's Zelda. Obviously, a lot of conversation about Zelda right now with this big delay. Um, and so every time you go to one of these pages, you're going to get an own unique experience. And that's really what's cool about Sifted in general, is the whole thing is customized for you. It's not what some advertising campaign that's driving the social network is putting in front of you. Every piece of content that appears in, in your Sift is because you told us you wanted it there. It's not because we think you should watch it, or somebody else thinks you should watch it, or some fan uploaded something and he wants you to watch it. You tell us what you want, and we deliver it. And generally, you know, we basically we've been working on the site now for a couple weeks of adding content. So it's loaded pretty well with content. And uh, what we've seen is that this site will help you discover content you never even knew you wanted to see. Even myself, I've been loading this up with content, so I know most of the content that's been loaded into Sifted. But I'll start clicking around these channels. Like, I really like the culture channel for some reason. Like, a lot of the stuff that ends up appearing in here, like, is stuff that I probably wouldn't have sought out on my own. But whenever it gets put in and curated and it's like crunched out through the algorithm and given, given to you in this custom feed, suddenly you realize, oh, this is something that I care about. And you'll be surprised at, one, how much time you save with using Sifted uh, versus just surfing around on the internet. But two, how much you discover content that you really care about and really like. So not only are you maximizing your time, finding content that you actually care about, you're also saving time. And obviously, that time can go to towards playing games or handling any other responsibilities you have in life. And another important thing about the site is because we keep you in this community, you don't have to have logins at 80,000 different websites anymore. Because you're kept in this environment, you can basically just stay on Sifted and keep consuming content and interacting with other users of Sifted without having to have a login for whatever site the piece of content is coming from. Now, you know, I do want to show you a couple things here because some people do like being a part of those communities, and we totally understand that. So let's go to this Tomb Raider feature. So for articles, the, the uh, viewer is a little different. You know, we have the, the typical header at the top, the title of the piece of content at the top, and then this bar is a little different at the bottom here. So let's say you've read this feature, and this feature is really great, by the way. And you finish it, and you want to start talking with other users about it. So you click the comments bar down here, and it takes you to this separate page, which is basically just a forum thread based upon this piece of content. So obviously, you can add a comment here. The window comes up from the bottom. You can type away, add an image, whatever you want to, and add it there. Um, here, you also, if you want to get rid of the frame, you can open in a new tab, and then you just go to the raw site, in this case, case Ars Technica. Or if you want to go back to the piece of content, say you want to uh, copy and paste something from the article into a comment, you can click back to article, and it'll go right back. And at any point in this environment, if you're done, you're finished interacting, you've read the entire article, you can click the Sifted logo up in the top left here, and it'll take you back to your Sift. And the site always remembers what you're sifting by. Generally. I try to set it at 48 hours, because when you're talking about 24 hours, big stuff could have happened 25 hours ago. 
and it may not appear in your SIF. Now, it is an endless scroll, so if you scroll down far enough, you will get to the big stuff from the day before. But if you click 48, and that's what I use typically, it really is kind of a good mashup of the stuff that's really recent and has happened in the last couple days. And that's typically where I keep my setting. And if you select a time setting and you jump around on the site, every time you jump to a different part of the site, it will keep that setting. So you can see there it's still at 48. Uh, a couple other really cool things, like instead of having likes on the site, we have one-ups. So you can see here, here's a little mushroom. So if you like something, you can click on it and it'll go up by one. Um, let's go back to some of the dashboard stuff. So let's see, here's Edit Profile. So we'll be able to give you the ability to upload your own avatars, obviously. And one of the cool things about our avatars is they're not quite finished yet, but what they will have icons. So there will be an icon in one corner. They'll say how long you've been a subscriber. And then we have achievements on site as well. And you'll be able to put an achievement icon in the other corner of your avatar. Um, obviously, you can connect to the site through Google, Facebook, or Twitter if you want to. And here's where you can kind of customize. So you know how I showed you before how there's that interface where you can jump back and forth from the comments to the articles? Well, this setting will change that. So it'll actually go, if you click on something, it'll go straight to that conversation page instead of straight to the article, which some people may prefer that. I personally don't. And then this is basically turning the, the uh, endless scroll on and off. Some people don't have powerful computers, and an endless scroll may bring their computer to a, to a grinding halt. Um, this setting here ends the endless scroll. So to get to more content, you would have to click the time shifting that I showed you before. Uh, and here it's just basically forcing images to links and forcing embeds to links. Again, if your computer's not really fast or you don't have a great internet connection and you don't want to sit there and load up links or load up embeds, you can turn it on or off. Uh, I'm on a pretty beastly connection here, and so I don't have to worry about it. And then here you go back. You can go back to your SIFT ratings. You can change your SIFT ratings at any time. It's actually pretty cool to kind of just change one or two things and then go back and see how much it changes everything. Uh, let's crank up Microsoft here. Go back to the SIFT and see if some more Microsoft, Microsoft stuff shows up. I mean, obviously, a lot of stuff is multi-platform, so it'll also be tagged. But yeah, you can see a lot more Xbox and Microsoft-related content popping up here in the SIFT. So that's the basic functionality of SIFTed. But another thing I want to get to is that there's another side of SIFTed, and that's original content. So SIFTed does all this. It SIFTs the content, delete, gives you this custom feed. But we also want to create original content. And the reason we want to do that is because Sifted is a 100% subscription service. So I know that may seem like a big deal to you guys. But I think once I start explaining to you guys how it works, it won't be such a big deal. So first of all, so first of all the subscription plans are pretty reasonable. Um, the basic plan is very reasonable at $10 a year. And you may say, OK, $10 a year, why even bother charging $10 a year? Well, $10 a year is just to create a barrier of entry for the website, is, is to help ensure that it's mostly an adult, civilized community that comes to Sifted. And with your basic subscription, you get a customized content feed, which I just showed you. You get discussion privileges, so you can use our commenting system. Um, the forums, which I, I will announce right now, will not be ready for launch. The forums will be coming a week or two after the site's launch. Um, achievements and leveling. Um, custom user profiles. Here's something really cool about the site. So as you use the site, you level up. You get achievements um, and things like that. But as you attain each new level, you're able to go into your user profile and choose to, quote unquote, level up one of eight categories. And the categories aren't named. We've created icons that are kind of ambiguous. And essentially, some of them you can kind of tell what they're supposed to mean. But we want to leave them open so you guys can interpret them in your own way. And so basically, you're able to build your persona on the site as if the site were an RPG. And people will be able to go to your profile and kind of look at it at a glance and very quickly be able to tell what kind of a player you are. Do you like shooters? Do you like sports games? That type of thing. And you know, obviously, this is a big dream. But if Sifted is a big success, we can ultimately take those stats that you give us and create a mobile game for Sifted users where those stats are actually incorporated into your character in that mobile game. 
Um, and then the final feature of the basic subscription at $10 a year is the premium content spot drops. So premium content will be part of our premium subscriber service. But every once in a while, we'll drop a piece of content for basic users to check out. Maybe it's a game eval that we've done. Maybe it's, a, it's an episode of Game Face. And so you can see we've, we've moved to the premium slide here. So one thing I do want to get out of the way right now is that our streaming will never, be behind, will never cost a dime. If you want to watch Game Face live, it's always going to be free. If you want to watch any of our Let's Plays live, that's always going to be free. But if you want to access the archives of any of that stuff, it will be locked behind the premium wall, along with all our game evals and all our original content we, that we create. So let's go through the premium rundown right now. Um, obviously, all the basic features, the sifting and all the community stuff that I just talked about, all our original content, archives, uh, we have our own player, a nice 1080p player that you'll be, you'll be seeing as, as the site gets closer to launch. Custom game eval scores. So I don't know if people who are watching this, if you guys have all went and checked out our game evals that are on our YouTube channel right now. We have a couple sample ones there. And I've seen you know, some people who have watched and have kind of been like, oh, I don't understand why it's an average. Why are there so many categories? Well, the reason that it's an average and there are so many categories is just like with your SIFT, you'll be able to tell us how much you care about each category in our game evals. So let's say you don't care about stories in games. Well, you can set the story setting for, for, for that category all the way down. And then all that information goes into an algorithm, and we deliver you a custom game eval score on the game page based upon the settings that you give us. So basically, you know, it's pretty hard to review games for everybody. And what we're trying to do with our game evals is create a system where it's relevant to everyone. So that's what we're doing. You will get, for the first time ever on any website, you will get your very own review score for every game that we review. Also part of premium, private forums called crews. And basically what crews are is you can get a group of friends together on the site, you submit a crew request to us. We look at it, we make sure it's game related, it's related to, the, to gaming in general, and then we give you the OK. And then you guys have your own private forum. And let me tell you, our forums are going to be freaking awesome. They are being built from the ground up, custom. And so you'll have your own private forum where you and your crew can go and talk about whatever. Now keep in mind, you know, they do kind of need to have a theme. We're not just going to let you create the bro bro forum or whatever. Um, but most of the requests for crew forums will be passed, and you guys will be able to have your own private forums where just you and your friends can uh, go and enjoy conversation with each other. Giveaways are only going to be available to our premium subscribers. We are going to be doing 60 days of giveaways, a giveaway every day for the first 60 days that the site is live. And we'll also be giving away a free console of choice to every 2,000th premium subscriber. So, and we're not going to, you'll never be able to figure out what number you are when you subscribe. Um, you're not going to have a profile number or anything like that when you subscribe, so you can kind of try to game the system. But every 2,000th premium subscriber will get a free console of their choice. And, you know, all the stuff that we get from video game publishers, all that stuff, all going to be given away to our premium subscribers. Um, in our discussions, and this isn't implemented yet, so you didn't see this, but in the discussion under, uh, videos or articles, you'll have special recognition. You'll have a little tag actually in the field of your text that will designate you as a premium subscriber. Um, and then exclusive avatar icons and exclusive achievements, like I said before. So that's the gist of Sifted, folks. It's a lot different. And I, I'm, I'm guessing right now probably a lot of you are sitting there saying, whoa. I mean, it's a lot to take in, and I get it. Like, I've just given you a ton of information. And we're going to do a quick Q&A here with people in the chat in a minute or so. Um, but probably the biggest question everyone's asking is, why a subscription? Well, I think if you found this stream, you probably know why it's a subscription site. Um, the ad model just isn't working anymore unless you are the biggest of sites. It works for an IGN. It works for a Facebook. It doesn't work for a small business like ours who's trying to start out. You know, it just, it just doesn't. And it also creates, you know, it creates a filter for people. Not just anybody can come in and join the site and come in and troll 
And another great thing about the site is that it organically cuts down on trolling anyway. Because, because everybody gets a custom feed, you are organically being surrounded with people who love the same stuff you do. So somebody who hates 3D platformers, I love them, but somebody who hates 3D platformers, chances are in their SIF preferences, they set 3D platformer all the way down. So when they come to Sifted, they're not even seeing that piece of content that I'm commenting on with all the other people who love 3D platformers. It just creates an awesome environment for conversation with like-minded people. So there's the barrier of entry. Uh, there's the current environment online. But I think most importantly is it the editorial integrity that it creates by being a subscription site. As you can see on the site, there are no ads, none. It is clean. It is lightning fast. There's no eye blasters, pre-stitials, pre-rolls, post-rolls, none of that. There's no ads whatsoever. And in fact, when we go out and we curate content for Sifted, we work very hard to make sure that the stuff we pull from YouTube is ad-free. So a lot of times we go to official publishers' YouTube channels where they never run ads. So every time you click play and you fire off a video on Sifted, you can make sure you're not going to see an ad. Well, at least for trailers and things like that. Obviously, for original content created by the great websites out there, um, we're not going. We're not going to try to block ads. They need ads to support their business model and to keep creating the awesome content uh, that's that's basically feeding this machine that is sifted. Um, but going back to the editorial thing, it's you know not taking money from video game publishers is a big deal, and I feel like we're at a place now where we're ready for this. Like, you know, uh, you should be willing to invest a little money in a site where you know the editorial is airtight and above the board. And you don't have to question it. And look, I've worked at a lot of gaming sites. And I can tell you right now, I've never seen corruption. I've never had anyone come to me and be like, hey, you need to do this because we have this advertising camp or any of that. But I do understand that the suspicion is always there. And so I'm providing an opportunity to kind of eliminate all that doubt from the entire process. And at what I believe is a very reasonable cost for, for what we're supplying to you guys. So. That's the gist of Sifted. You know, basically, what I've tried to do is create the ultimate gaming community and try to create it at a price that's reasonable and something that most gamers can afford. And uh, you know, I feel like we have the opportunity to make something really, really awesome here. Um, I've kind of taken the first step. I've invested a ton of my own money into building this site and to getting Game Face going and you know, getting our studio up and going. I feel like I've done my part and I've kind of given this to you guys. And now it's really up to you guys to take it and run with it. Um, because without people and without the community, Sifted is really nothing. I mean, it's just an empty wasteland full of awesome content. So we need people like you to get on board and kind of buy into the concept. And, uh, and really, if you think about it, think about how much time every day you spend just trying to find stuff you care about, even if it's only a half an hour a day. So you spend a half an hour jumping from site to site to site. Add that up over. 280 days that you spend on the internet. That's like 180 hours that you're saving with Sifted for $10 a year. So we feel like we've given a great value proposition for our users. Uh, we feel like the site is flexible enough that it works for pretty much every type of player and any type of interest. Um, the community that we've built, which is the backbone of the site, is bleeding edge and, and you know basically the newest tech that's out there, and actually we have some functionality that a lot of that no site does have. So, you know, I feel like I'm turning into a salesman here, and maybe I shouldn't be doing that, but you know, I just kind of it's a big concept and it's completely different, and so I just want to help you guys kind of understand where it's coming from and why I've built the site the way it, it the way it is and why it's a subscription site. So, with that. I'm going to take a couple comments. And keep in mind that we're about 20 seconds lag behind here for you guys. So um, I will be seeing your comments, and I'll comment on them as soon as I can see them. So Matt, you want to pull up the site here? Or actually, I'll just pull up the comments. See what people are saying. OK, here's one. The basic option is very reasonable, but what can you do on the site for free? Just watch Twitch streams. Um, so oh, yeah. He actually brings up a really good question. So obviously, this is a new idea. And it's hard to expect people to just jump on board and be like, oh, I don't know anything about this. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Here's my $30. I totally get that. So for the first two weeks, the site is going to be 100% free. 
Um, and that's premium. Like you'll get everything for the first two weeks totally free. I'm praying that my bills aren't completely through the roof. Um, they may be. I'm prepared for that if that's the case. Uh, but for the first two weeks, the site will be completely free. And then once we get past that launch period, you guys will have to sub, obviously, after that if you've, if you've, uh, if you've been checking out the site up for those first two weeks. Um, but after that, the trial period will be three days. And that may seem like a short period of time, but honestly, like using this site, and I've been using it for a couple weeks, like you get it real freaking quick how awesome the site is and how much value you get out of it. So three-day window, if you actually use the site for that, those three days, I actually believe probably within the first day, you're going to be like, oh, $10 is worth five times that. So to answer your question, there will be a two-week free trial period. What's free? There's nothing free on the site, I guess is the best way to put it, other than the trial periods that you're getting. So if you just come to the site, you're basically, you have to go through the registration process and that sort of thing to get to the site. You can't just, and here's the other thing, you know, a lot of people are crazy, they're like, well, then how do you share Sifted? We don't care about sharing Sifted because we rely on our community to spread the word about Sifted. We have a referral program put in place where if you refer five people and they all become premium subscribers, you get a year of the premium service for free. So essentially, whatever emails you register those people with, if they come back and register and become premium subscribers with that email address and five of them do it, you'll get a year of Sifted for free. And this is all by design. Like We want good people to bring other good people to Sifted. That's the only way the community is going to turn into what we're hoping is going to become, is by having people refer other good people and other reasonable people to Sifted. We don't need to make millions of dollars here, people, to make a really awesome site with kick-ass reviews and kick-ass content. We have eliminated so much overhead from typical websites. There's no marketing department. There's no advertising department. We don't have to hire half of the staff that a lot of websites do because we don't have an ad model. So let's see if we can get another question here. Uh, question, when you stream a podcast live with Marcus, if we miss it, if we cannot get it unless we pay for the site, yes, that is 100% true. So the only way you'll be able to watch Game Face once the site launches for free is if you watch the actual live stream that happens every Thursday at 6 p.m. Uh, the archive of that will only be available to premium subscribers of the site. So let's find another one. Uh, let's see. Will we see the return of Annoyed Gamer episodes? That is certainly an option. Marcus and I are talking about other things he can do with us. I think another thing Marcus would be really good at is just live streaming. I mean, let's be honest. Whether you agree with him or disagree with him on certain topics, he's funny. And uh, I think he would make a great live streamer. So Marcus and I are working together right now on other things we can do together on the site, along with a bunch of other people as well, a lot of other content creators. Um, it's not just going to be gamey valves. Oh, that will be a big focus of our original content sort of out of the gate. Let's find another one. How will the content be added to the site? Oh, that's a good question. So everything is hand curated. In other words, there's a human being that looks at or reads every piece of content before it's added into Sifted. And you may be like, how are you doing that? Well, that's the secret sauce that I'm not going to share. That's what I've spent a ton of money building is the backbone of this website. Um, so we've got some secret sauce going on behind the scenes. But one thing I can tell you is that every single piece of content that goes into Sifted has been physically looked at by a human being and then rated based upon general interest in that piece of content. That's how we make our algorithm work. Let's see what else. Um, oh, yeah. Can you change from premium to basic mid-sub? So that's a really good question. And actually, Matt, if you can bring up like the partial graphic there. So it is seamless to upgrade from a basic to a premium subscription. Say you're like, I don't know, 30 bucks. I don't really have it right now. Um, you know, I kind of want to wait and see and, and, and figure out if it's worth it or not. It's very easy to do. So you buy your basic subscription, and then we prorate the premium subscription. So you paid for your basic at 10. The premium is 30. So we look at how many months are left in the year, 
and then we prorate that extra $20 based upon those extra months. And it's all done completely seamlessly in our system. The other cool thing, too, is that we accept payments from 130 countries. Um, your information is crazy safe. The service that we use, Braintree, is used by some of the biggest retailers online. Um, none of your data is kept on Sifted Games at all. It's all kept on servers guarded by Doberman Pinchers or something. Um, but your, your information is safe. We will never sell your information on Sifted, folks. We will never give away your email addresses. We will never sell your browsing data because we don't have to. Because we, that's the thing about this site. It just, because it is a subscription model, it takes away so much of the crap that you have to deal with with dealing with free websites. Just think about an ad-free website. Look at Sifted. Look at how clean. Look at this site. It loads like a freaking beast because there's no ads. There's no like flash pounding it into submission. It's just one clean, lightning fast website. There's so many advantages to having a website with, without an ad model. And you only really start to realize it when you work with it for a while. Uh, so anyway, going back to your question, um, downgrading from a premium to a basic, I'm not sure why anyone would do that. But one thing I will say is that we are very customer centric. If you are a premium subscriber and you're unhappy with the service, you can send us an email and tell us you want to cancel, and we'll let you cancel, no questions asked. We'll refund you the prorated amount of your subscription, um, no questions. You know, we, we believe that you'll be happy with Sifted based upon what you're paying for it and what you're getting. But if you're not, we totally get it. And we will refund your money with no questions. Now, there is a caveat to that. If you have been banned from the site for detrimental conduct or violating our terms of service, we obviously will not refund your money. But uh, if you're an upstanding user of Sifted and you've decided that you just don't care for it and don't want to use it, or maybe you just need the money, whatever the case, you know, we're going to be like Amazon. Like we, we are all about you. Because without you, we're nothing. So you know, we're going to take care of you guys. And if, and if it's not working out for you, you can just let us know, and we'll refund your cash. Let's see if we can find another couple questions here before we wrap things up. Um, let's see. How much unique content will we be creating? Are we talking GT levels like bonus round and unique shows every week? That's another good question. Um, well, obviously, the amount of content you create a lot of times is dependent upon the games coming out. Obviously, in January, it's kind of tough to generate content, but then you just shift your content model. Um, so it's really hard to kind of give you an, an exact number of how much content we'll be creating. You know, obviously, we aspire to create as much content as other sites that you're visiting all the time. Um, but there's really no way to give you a hard number and, and say, this is X amount of pieces of content. I mean, you can expect us to do game evals for 80% of the games that are coming out. We're not going to do a ton of mobile stuff, but you know, obviously all the consoles and PC will be doing game evals for that stuff. Obviously, Game Face every week will be working on some new shows going forward. Um, we'll be doing a lot of streaming at Sifted. Just, you know, it makes sense, obviously, because that's kind of where everything's going. Um, and then we'll be archiving those streams on the site. And again, you, know, you can watch our streams for free. And uh, you can only access the archives if you're a premium subscriber. So let's try to find another one. Will there be a user-generated content page coming anytime soon, like a place members can load videos and write articles? Oh, yeah. These questions are great. You guys are doing a great job. It's, it's jogging my memory and making sure that I remind you guys of things. So as far as what you can do on the site, you'll be able to write blogs. Uh, you'll be able to post images. Um, uploading videos, probably not going to happen. But it's kind of irrelevant, because the way our system is set up, you can seamlessly integrate anything you create from anywhere into our comments or into your blogs. Um, so while we don't have our own user upload system, at this point, there's really no reason to. I think pretty much every website has learned at this point that everyone's going to use YouTube. And so we've just made sure that, uh, that we integrate YouTube and all these different players in as seamless a way as possible. So you can create content, upload it somewhere else, and then bring it into Sifted very, uh, very seamlessly. So let's see. How long have you been working on the site? I've been working on the site for about a year and two months. Yeah. Um, actually, I had a. I was thinking about the site for a long time. I had the idea for a long time, and uh, I was kind of waffling on it. I was like, oh, maybe I'll just get a get a job somewhere else again. 
and uh, I had a near-death experience. I have a serious nut allergy, and uh, I ate some cake that had nuts in it, and I literally almost died. I went into anaphylactic shock. I went into the ER and everything, and I survived, obviously. Um, but the next day, when I woke up, I just made the decision on that day to go for it because I was just like, life is too short, and I've wanted to create something like this for a long time, and I've wanted to be my own boss, and I've wanted to make something for all the people who have supported me all these years, and uh, I just went for it. And here we are a year later, and it's just about ready to launch. Okay, two more questions. Um, let's see. Mobile app integration. Oh, yeah. So, yep, we're working on mobile apps. Um, first thing I should say is that the site isn't going to launch probably for a week and a half or two weeks. Um, what you guys should do is just follow us on our social channels. On um, We're on Twitter, Facebook. Obviously, we're here on Twitch. Um, and our handle is always the same. It's slash sifted games. So Matt, if you could bring up the, uh, you've got it up there. Yeah. So we use the same, the same moniker on uh, all the social networks. So what you should probably do is just follow us there and kind of to kind of figure out when the site's going to launch. It's going to be about a week and a half. As you can see, it's pretty much done. Um, but what looks done when you really start digging in, there's always little issues that you're uncovering. And so we're still kind of squashing some bugs and doing some beta testing. So the site will launch in about a week and a half. So. Uh, yeah, it won't be long until you guys will be able to use it. Uh, let's see. Is there a family pack option or a guild option? Um, so we had, we had actually contemplated doing a, a lifetime subscription or like a group subscription, but we really couldn't find any way to do that. The other thing, too, is that the credit card processing companies online, like they basically won't work with you if you offer a lifetime subscription. Like, that's just the way it is. So we did want to offer something like that. But unfortunately, because of the way things work online, we're unable to do that. And a family option, that's kind of hard to do. Um, you know, The way Sifted works is that we know when you're logged in and where you are. And so we track that. And so if you try to share your login with other people or whatever, we can pick up on that, and we'll close it down. And it'll also actually alert your account that you've been trying, that you've been sharing your uh, your login with other users. So don't do that because it'll flag you and it'll give you a, a flag towards uh, towards getting banned or or being reprimanded. Another thing I should mention though is, if you get banned from Sifted, you're actually not banned per se. Like you can still come to the website and use the sifting mechanic. Um, you just can't interact with other users anymore. So there's no real permanent ban from Sifted. Um, but if you do get what most people would consider the permanent ban, you just won't be able to interact with other users. You won't be able to use the comments. You won't be able to use our forums. Uh, you won't be able to write blogs and things like that. You'll just simply be able to use the SIFT. And let's see, one last question here. OK, I'll answer this question because I see a couple people asking it. Um, is it ethical for you to charge money to aggregate content from other companies' sites? That's a very good question. And as somebody who's, who's come from the journalism space and worked on a lot of these sites that I'm aggregating content from, you know, it was a big concern and something I've thought about long and hard. So I, I'll ask you this. Is it OK for Facebook to make money off of everyone else's content? Is it OK for YouTube to make money off of everybody else's content? Um, what we're doing is really no different. We've just created a much better interface for it, one. And two, instead of us shoving our latest ad campaign down your throat and telling you what's going to be in your feed, you're telling us what's going to be in your feed. But we're not blocking any ads from any of these websites. You still have to watch their pre-roll videos if you watch one of their videos. Um, if, you go, if you watch a YouTube video on Sifted, um, you're going to have to watch their YouTube pre-roll. If you go to any article on the page, you're going to have to look at their display ads. So what we're doing is no different from what you see on any social network. Um, there's really no change, other than it just looks probably a little slicker than what you see on other social networks. And so that's it. There's probably a ton of questions there um, that you guys can hit me up on Twitter. Look, I understand this is a completely new concept, but that's also why it's really exciting, is it is something different. And uh, you know, I've been talking about this site for a while, and I feel like it was just kind of going in one ear and out the other. And people were like, I've heard that you know, this website's going to be different, or this one's going to be different. And I knew all along that this one really was. And it's been very rewarding to finally share this with you. I can't tell you how many times I've almost slipped talking about it uh, on Game Face. 
but uh, I did make it until I finally unveiled the site. And so, you know, I just want to say in closing, one, thank you very much for tuning into this live stream. Um, I, it probably was a little longer than I thought it was going to be. I wanted to uh, keep it short and sweet. But, you know, with something like this, there are a lot of questions, and I wanted to give ample time to answer a lot of your concerns and any questions you might have about it. So, you know, I just want to say, you know, let's get on board with this. We really have the opportunity to create an awesome website, like something that is free and clear of all the corporate BS that happens. I mean, you know, I've worked at major corporations for the last 15 years of my life, and I don't want to do it again. And I don't feel like a gaming site that is owned by a major corporation has the opportunity to be everything that it can be. And it doesn't have the ability to be nimble and to be able to listen to the users and change based upon the users. Either you have a built-in ad model that, you've, that you just can't abandon because that's the way you've built your business or structurally inside your business. Once a big corporation is established, there's procedures and processes that are there that are going to stay there forever. And so we are starting with a clean slate here, people. And uh, you, know, you guys can be part of shaping what could be what the next generation of gaming websites look, look like. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I really hope you guys love the site. Like I said, follow us on all our social channels to get the, get the scoop on when the site launches. But I hope that you love it when you guys finally get to check it out. And like I said, enjoy that first two weeks, that free, that free trial that we give you guys. And we'll see you here tomorrow night at 6 p.m., same URL, Marcus and I back here for Game Face. But until then, Game Face is up and out.